Bro, the, <laughs> the D D fans got on my head again, bro. See, I said this at the end of the video. I don't know if any of them finished watching the whole video. But I was like, the ones that disagree with me the most are going to be the ones commenting the most. And I have like fucking 60 comments on this video. And this motherfucker came out yesterday. <laughs> YouTube, hey, YouTube be loving controversy, bro. They love controversy. I'm not one to just, like, pick fights, but I do like to share my opinion on this channel. I'm not about to be out here acting like something. No. I don't like the D&D combat. And a lot of people is like, ah, oh, bro, this nigga. <laughs> and, it's, and it's fine. Like, I said that. Like, people that want to sit through this shit, they're going to sit through it. And they're going to enjoy it. But I'm not about to hear, I'm not about to sit here and be like, yeah, this is a great system. Everybody should adopt it. Fuck no, bro. I don't even think Larian should have fucking adopted it. Because I played their other games and them bitches were more fun. That's all I said. That's all I said. I didn't say I didn't say Baldur's Gate was trash. I gave it all the kudos it deserved. Except the fucking combat category. Which it don't fucking deserve any kudos, because that shit's boring as fuck. And it's definitely trash. And there's a lot of comments. They're cooking my ass. Debatably. This guy, bro, this guy talk shit about Bioware, bro. And I was like, this nigga. This nigga. He, he said Dragon's Dogma 2 was a fucking live service game. Buddy been watching too much YouTube. I don't know who he's been listening to. He ain't been listening to me. Nigga, Gaming News Weekly, Sundays, 1 p.m. Central Time. Like, what the fuck, nigga? Dragon's Dogma is nowhere near a live service game. Those microtransactions they talked about doesn't even fucking exist if you actually play the game. You can't even buy them bitches in the game. You literally have to leave the game to go find microtransactions, to buy them, to come back to the game, to go find them bitches because they don't just give them to you either. You literally have to go back to town and go find the fucking microtransactions you literally just fucking bought. But, I mean, if you just listen to random niggas on YouTube that's not me, of course you get misinformed. That's kind of sad. <laughs> he said he fighting for the absolute life in this conversation. Because <laughs> my take was dog shit. It wasn't dog shit, bro. It's the objective truth. How many live streams of Baldur's Gate do I have on the channel? You can literally go watch it for yourself. The combat is not fucking fun. The story's good. The characters are great. The, the world is, is amazing. I like I like the 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 way they were trying to give this fucking this uh this RPG story and then you go to combat. And you're like, oh, here we go again. 13 niggas on the other side. I have advantage. Still fucking miss. And then look, he was like combat completely luck based. It is. It's definitely fucking luck based. And then this man start trying to give me pointers on Give her these buffs so she don't miss because the dice tell you to miss. <laughs> so if you give her these buffs, she's less likely to miss. And I'm like, that's the fucking problem, bro. Why the fuck do with Lazel, one of the greatest warriors in the fucking game, need blessed or bardic inspiration to hit a 90? Because the dice like, oh no, you critical miss, bro. My bad. Like, all that skill you built up all this time. Yeah, you roll the one. <laughs> roll the one. Two out of three times. <laughs> that is crazy odds, bro. Like, my odds are bad in that game. I know that. Like, I don't have I don't have the luck that some of these people have. Some people will be critically successful on some crazy shit. I've seen the videos. But then I, like, nigga, I play the game and I critical miss on some of the most... One of some of the easiest kills imaginable, and they just fucking miss. And I'm like, really, nigga? And it's not like I'm bad at the fucking game. I literally live streamed all of it. You can go watch me play it. Not bad at the fucking game, but the game is bad. <laughs> combat anyway. Combat anyway. You know. But I like this dude's comment. I mean, he said a whole lot of things. I'm not gonna read it all. And then this dude was like, hey, do a side-by-side -side of, of the two games comparing to the combat. I should. I need to learn how to do that, though. So I've been I've been researching it. Dude, look. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> Brady said, black people get worked <laughs> over the weirdest things. And I'm like, I swear. <laughs> they be going on and on about nonsense. Could it be me? 
I don't know. Couldn't be me. It, hey, but hey, black people do be they be going wild on some crazy shit. But couldn't be me though. Couldn't be me. And then look, here skill issue doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> what? It just means that the type of gameplay is not for you. Skill issue is literally based on dice. That's what I was like. I'm like, how is it a skill issue when you can do every skillful tactic in the world and still fucking miss an attack because of dice? You can set everything up perfectly. You can plan 20 moves ahead. And then when you get there and you fucking attack, the dice says critical fucking miss. You rolled a one, my nigga. All that preparation goes to waste. Try it again next turn. That's not a skill issue, bro. And that's the problem with this. That is exactly what I told him. That's the problem. He never he never commented back. But then somebody commented after that. I mean, like, he haven't beaten the game. I haven't either because the game keeps fucking crashing. That's why I haven't finished the fucking game. Not because I can't. Not because I can't. It's because the game keeps fucking crashing. I don't want to deal with that shit no more. Because if I'm going to have to redo combat scenarios because the game crashed, that I already didn't want to fucking do because I don't like the combat, but I want to progress the story that I've literally journeyed through this whole fucking time. I just drop it. Play Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm about to finish that. Play Banish. I'm going to finish that. Might go back to Baldur's Gate 3 eventually if the game's fixed. But he's like, he understand. Yeah, the game is entirely based on dice RNG, which means everything is <laughs> decided by luck. Yes, that's exactly what I've been saying. They don't want to listen to that because all the D&D loving fans be like, oh, you're shitting on D&D. We don't like this thing. They're not listening to what I'm saying. You can do that shit in D&D all the time. But in games, why the fuck is luck the defining factor in combat for a video game, bro? Video games should be skill based. They should be. They, you can you can literally do this shit. You learn the system. You play the game in the system that these people have built. And you find your niche in this system and you excel in it. Baldur's Gate 3 don't let you do that, bro. And look, he said it's a it's a it's a fucking common criticism in DD in general. Because it because if the dice are gonna tell me, hey, you an archer, bro, level 17. You got, you got dead eye. You can hit niggas from 60, from 60 meters away. You have 75% chance to hit. And then you miss both shots. Damn. Damn, that 25% hit me twice. Where the fuck is my 75 at? I'm a fucking sharpshooter. The dice said no, buddy. <laughs> You can have the skill that Dice said if it's not 100% it's zero. That's how Bartles Gate 3 feel. If it's not 100% it's zero. Except when you're except when you're uh Carlac. If you're Carlac, nigga, I'll I'll batter motherfuckers with a 35% chance to hit with Carlac. We, I'm talking about some like Carlac's dice is lovely, bro. I can walk up on somebody with 55, I'm swinging. Because I know she's hitting that shit. And she's hitting them a fucking gin right after that. Carlac is just a demonic being. She's amazing. But I mean, Lizelle's my favorite. And her ass never fucking lands a strike. As, especially like in crunch time when she needs to hit. Come on now, she's missing all three times. And it just ruined her turn. It's so bad, bro. Look, you have probably a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's a skill issue it's not a skill issue when the dice ruins skill bro when a dice says skill can go out the window it's not come on now but there's hella comments on this video there's hella comments on this video and they all telling me about the, the the Hasbro situation and I'm like yeah I covered that on Gaming News Weekly I said that before like this isn't new news that Larian is leaving Baldur's Gate I covered it on Gaming News Weekly on Sunday this video came out on, what, Tuesday, Wednesday? Something like that. I covered it on Gaming News Weekly. We actually talked about the actual thing of Larry and leaving Baldur's Gate. Like, this hit piece article, I covered it because it's a hit piece article. And it's exactly what everybody is thinking about Baldur's Gate 3 goddamn combat. It's not that fucking good. It's not that fucking good. 
you can enjoy it. I enjoyed it for a little bit, but as I got higher level, I realized I'm annoyed. Because this combat is trash. If it was if it was the Dur Divinity Original Sin 2 combat, I would be wiping the floor with these motherfuckers. Why? Because my skill is there, bro. Because my 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 strategy is there. They pull some crazy moves on live stream. You can go watch them bitches. They're up. And then I get my characters in position. And they strike. And guess what? Fucking miss. Get get me out the game, bro. Get me out the game. I don't want to deal with that shit. Why do you think I play Souls likes? Why do you think I play Souls games? Because that is only skill based. Ain't no luck in this shit. That's why I play Souls games. Because I know if I'm trash, they're going to show me I'm trash. If I'm good, they're going to show me I'm good. Because I'm going to perform. Baldur's Gate, you can do everything you can to perform. And then the dice say you're trash. And you're cooked. <laughs> Roll a 10 or higher, you live. Roll a 10 or lower, you die. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Lose game. Re fucking start. That's Baldur's Gate for you. And I can't. I mean, I can't really say anything else about it. My man is right here. Since I grew up watching like subscribe, you knew. I'm gonna go back to playing games. That's what I do around here. I play games. I'm not really a controversial nigga, except when it comes to my opinion that motherfuckers don't like. Larian, Larian's Baldur's Gate three D and D fans are not the first niggas I've ever offended with my opinion. I got. Hell let loose niggas on me. I got last epoch niggas on me. I had Baldur's Gate niggas on me. D and D niggas on me. It's fine, bro. Like I'm still standing team. It's fine. My opinion, bro. You love it or you hate it. I'm gonna give it to you anyway. And if you're gonna listen to it, I'm definitely willing to uh listen to you in these comments. So make sure you comment. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe too, because I mean I'm I'm here every day. And uh, I'll see y'all next video.